Welcome to Micropulse ISIS PEMF video tutorial number six, holding ISIS coils in place. Step number one. Before you review this video, you may want to view video tutorial number one, which shows you the basic coil configurations. Based upon those, we'll show you how to hold them in place in this video. Holding the ISIS coils in place in the desired configuration can be rather challenging. Frequently, our customers ask us, gee, why don't you build a single article of clothing, a single device that can hold any coils, any place, on any animal? It turns out that there's no such thing. The best thing to do is to learn how to use standard, widely available medical wraps to hold the ISIS coils in place. We'll give you some demonstrations for that in this video. It's difficult to do this properly, but if you do this correctly, the physics of ISIS will actually work in your favor and you'll get excellent results. If you don't place the coils properly, like any other electromechanical system, the physics won't be right and it really won't work. So it's really important to do this step correctly. In general, holding the coils in place is a three-step process. First, you hold the coils in the proper configuration. In this case, say, for example, stacked. Then, you have to put the coils on the body part where you want to actually intend to treat with the ISIS system. Then, you have to hold the pulse generator in place and the cables in place so that nothing falls off while the treatment is happening. In this video, we're only going to show you step number one, which is how to hold the coils together in a proper configuration. To hold the coils together, we find that the best thing to do is to use widely available, inexpensive, self-adherent elastic wrap bandages. These come in many varieties. They're generally called self-adherent wrap bandages, and these include sensor wrap, Medca, Coban 3M, Petflex No Chew, Vet Wrap. PowerFlex, Equine Bandage, and others. These are available from Amazon.com and you can buy them in a variety of colors and in one inch, two inch, three inch, and four inch widths. Here I'm showing you a green two inch and a red three inch width and we think those are probably the best sizes to use for ISIS uh, coil placement. The first thing you do is you actually wrap the coils so that they maintain the configuration that you want. That would be either stacked side by side or placed a specific distance apart so that they can be opposed around both sides of a body part to affect a treatment. We'll give you examples of each of these. Example one, say you want to do side by side coil configuration and you've decided to use a three inch self-adherent wrap bandage. The first thing you do is go ahead and pull out a length of that bandage. In this case I've pulled out about a foot and a quarter, maybe a foot and a half. And then I'm cutting it with scissors. You can cut it completely across. Most of these bandages also allow you to rip them either way. Then without folding the bandage up too much because it is a little bit sticky to itself, go ahead place the coils where you want them. In this case the example will be side by side so we want to make sure that the coils are placed with the bumpy sides both facing in the same direction. It's easiest to tell for sure if they're both facing up. Then what you do is just simply wrap the self-adherent bandage over them. Wrap it on one side, wrap it on the other, then go ahead and wrap it around. Then if you press in between the coils, you'll be absolutely certain now that the coils are held together in a configuration where you can put them side by side anywhere you want and you don't have to worry about holding them together. Example number two, I'll show you how to do this where stacked coils, this is very commonly used by equine acupuncturists for example. To use the coils in a stacked configuration, you put the coils together bumps to bumps, sort of like poker chips so the bumpy sides are facing each other. Then, or before you do that, you pull out a certain length of self-adherent wrap. In this case, I'll pull out about a foot of the green two-inch wide sensor wrap. 
a little bit of a notch, helps rip it. And then what you do is you simply place your coils in the desired configuration right onto the wrap. Then you wrap around them. In this case, I'm gonna go around once or twice just to hold the coils in place. Now I've got the coils stacked and those can be placed anywhere to affect the treatment that you want. Setting the coils up for side-by-side -side configuration can be a little bit trickier. In this case, the example would be that we want to treat both sides of the hips of a pet. The coil's configured like this with the bumps both sides sticking out. Now I've pre-cut about a three-foot length of sensor wrap and I've laid it down so that I can get the approximate distance between the two including the amount that has to go over to wrap around the anatomical piece you're going around. Then you place the coils in place. Then you simply wrap the self-adherent bandage back across, covering both coils. Take the kinks out, press the wrap together, move the animal out of the way a little bit, flip it over, Finish up with the wrap that you have. You can always add more wrap if you need to. This wrap is self-adherent, but it can be pulled off and reused several, maybe two or three times until it gets a little bit grungy. It's flexible, so you don't have to have the spacing exactly right. And then once you've got them set, you now know that the coils will always be bumps out and you can place it right where you want it. In later videos, we'll show you how to hold that in place.